What's up guys, Jim Collector here back with another video and today we have a figure that I've been very excited for. This is the Hono Studios Wolverine. Now as we know Hono Studios is an off brand from Hot Toys and their whole thing is making one six scale figures at a lower entry level price point. So I'm really excited to see what this company can deliver at that lower price point and if it's still worth it. So guys without further ado, let's get stuck right in. All right, and so here we have the packaging and it looks really, really nice. And it still has a really premium feel to it, despite it being from um, Hono Studios rather than Hot Toys, which is meant to be kind of the lower budget entry line, but they have spared no expense on this. So you can see a picture of Wolverine on the front. Obviously that is comic, not the actual figure itself. You can see it says Marvel X-Men down the side with very much the, uh, the cartoon style X-Men logo which I really do like and then you can see Wolverine down here HS01 one six scale action figure and then you've got the Hono Studios logo down here to the side we've got more of that classic yellow X-Men um, color along with the logo again and then we can see a picture of the figure himself along with some effects there you've got some warnings and some kind of special features and stuff down there as well as the Disney and the uh, QR code. So yeah, there we go. That's all the packaging. Now my favorite bit about this is how this bad boy opens. You slip up this bit and you slip this bit up here which reveals inside our first bit of cardboard. Um, so this is quite nice now. It has a little explanation of what Honor Studio is all about which if you want to read that I'll leave it here for you to pause. But that is a nice little included bit here. To get this out you just slide it out and if you flip that over, you have your instruction manual, which is really nice. I like how they've included this as part of the packaging and it carries on that kind of um, comic book style feel throughout the whole unboxing process. So, so far, this is a really nice premium unboxing experience from Hono. And there we have our first look at Wolverine himself. Let's slide this tray on here. Down below, you can see um, that is the backdrop, which straight away I can tell feels it's, it's cheap plastic, but that's not too bad. I don't think I'm gonna use this really anyway. And if you don't have a comic book, you can cut out this backdrop here, but that will destroy the box, just, uh, just so you know. So I'm definitely, definitely not gonna do that. But it's nice that you get that option. All right, so let's get this bit out of the way. So this is the backdrop to the base, which I suppose you don't have to use with the base, but this is kind of a big feature of it where you put in your comic book. So that's what it looks like. I thought this would be like a solid plastic, a bit like when you get your comics graded, but it's not. It is just kind of a, a basic plastic layer. You just slide this open and you can see it's, yeah, it's just your basic packaging. It's like clamshell packaging, really. So it's nothing too special, but it's still a nice display option that they have. And it kind of really differentiates the Hono Studios um, products versus the Hot Toys products. But now to the meat and bones. Here we have Wolverine and he looks fantastic. Let's get some of that plastic off. And straight away, he is a chunky boy. He is heavy. Definitely got some weight to him. Really like how he's looking here. I'll get all the plastic off in a minute and we'll have a proper look, but I just wanna just like enjoy this moment. So you've obviously got the silicone arms, which do feel nice as well. So we'll see how that looks in a minute, but I'm just gonna put him to the side for now. And let's see everything else that he comes with. So obviously we have his claws which are very nicely done. They are plastic and they do feel a bit flimsy. So do be careful with these. You don't want to break these. That would be very, very sad. But you can tell from the sheen, it's a nice metallic paint and they look absolutely fantastic. You can see here as well, they insert into the top of the fist, which is good. Is that accurate to the comic books? I can't remember if it is or not. Someone let me know in the comments below if it's more accurate from uh, the blades to come through the knuckles or from the fist here. I feel like this is more accurate, but I could very much be wrong. We also have some switch out, if I can get these out of here, 
faceplate. So we have two faceplates that we can swap out, as well as the one on the figure as well. So here they both are. So two different faces. This one's kind of a, a humorous, let's go kind of face. And this is a serious growling, you know, this is going to hurt face, which I quite like. So they are nicely detailed as well. I do like all the paint, uh, uh, paint work and paint apps. Um, it's more basic than obviously some of your Hot Toys stuff because this is obviously based on a comic book character rather than a real life person. Under this tray here, we have, is that anything? Yes, yeah, so we have part of the flight pole and then that's pretty much everything apart from some extra wrist pegs in case you break the ones you have and there's nothing under there at all. So that is it. So he doesn't come with a whole lot but then again he is the entry level figure he's not meant to be premium so that kind of makes sense this is the display base and it's serviceable honestly i don't see myself using this really because i'm not going to have the comic book in the backdrop but you can see here where this uh styrofoam is that you would just slide that base into here and that will create your uh, comic book backdrop but it is nice it is a plastic it's nothing fancy I do like the Wolverine emboss here as well, that's nicely done. But there we go, that is your Hono Studios base. In here we obviously have the um, crotch grabber type thing, as well as these claw effects as well, which I don't really see myself using if I'm being honest. Let's have a quick closer look at them. There we go. So they're nicely done, they're well made. Not much else to say about them, they are again kind of a breakable plastic especially smaller bit so i'd be careful with these but it's a nice addition just to kind of create some good effects maybe for some photography they'll look quite good but i think for the most part these are going to be gathering dust in the box all right and here is our first real look at the figure himself and i have to say i'm really really impressed with um, hono studios on this now i was always a massive massive fan of the x-men uh, cartoon series so I bought this more based off of that um, I'm not the biggest comic book aficionado so I'm not going to be great at pointing out any inaccuracies or accuracies or anything like that but I can just appreciate it for the representation of that version of Wolverine and he looks fantastic what I'm going to do in a minute though because I know this is a um, topic of, of um, um, this is something that people always bring up about Hugh Jackman Wolverine is I'm going to do a bit of a height test and see how he stacks up next to the other figures. But let's get into this guy. Head sculpt, really nicely done. I really like the fins on the mask and the white eyes as well. That looks fantastic. I also like the different head sculpts or face sculpts that you get. Um, it will really help posing and it'll be great for some photography as well. So I'm excited and eager to get into that. And I just like the whole design. Now, obviously his outfit is fabric here. Uh, the mask isn't, it is moulded plastic, which isn't too surprising. If we pop off the head quickly, I've seen some people get some marks on here, so just be wary of that, that you might get some marking from the chin when you take off the head sculpts, and you can see I've got a bit of a mark on the ball joint just there. But inside here, we have where you can poke out the faceplate and then just change that out. And then that's all there is really to it, but that is how you would remove that. I don't think it comes with a tool to do that, so I'm gonna to have to play with that off camera. But I think you just, yeah, you just poke that through and then that faceplate comes off and that looks kind of like that popcorn bucket that you can get from the <laughs> Deadpool Wolverine film. Um, but yeah, there we go. So that's how you change the faceplate. So that's nice and easily done. Then this just easily pops back on there. Again, I just be wary of the chin when you're popping that back on, on the outfit. Um, and just be careful when you handle this because it is a light color you don't want to smudge or stain it now looking at the arms the silicone arms these are so nice look at the vein work and the musculature obviously his um hair although it looks really good is painted on or drawn on top it's not indented in any way or anything like that but if we get a closer look at the um the gauntlets all the detailing work there it looks like real material rather than molded plastic and I do like the shine to it as well even on his underpants right here the belt is part of um, the underpants <laughs> part of that so that doesn't move we'll look at some articulation in a moment the boots are fantastic look how gnarly they are and again it carries on that kind of nice 
sheen and purpley bit there as well. He's got split cut boots and also some toe articulation, which is fantastic for posing. So you, I can already tell you're gonna have a lot of fun messing around with different poses on this figure. So articulation, very, very good. His arms pretty much come just over shoulder height there, which is nice to see. It does start to reveal the joint there, but you can't really see that on the figure too much. It really helps that this is movable and that shoulder does move up and down slightly as well, which is really good to see. I believe, yep, it's a double bend in the elbow or as much as you can get because he has chunky arms, but that allows for a lot of posing. He does have torso crunch, very good torso crunch as well, I have to say. And he bends back a fair amount as well. So that's really good to see. And he does have torso swivel as well, although that will put a bit of stretch in the outfit. Interesting to see over time if this will bounce back or if it will kind of stretch out. So I'm looking forward to that. God, I'm really liking the detailing all over here. Obviously you do have a seam down the back that's worth noting, but you're not really gonna display it this way. You can see the seams kind of down here as well. As for legs, Really, really strong double bend in that knee. Comes all the way out to the side, all the way out to the front there as well. And a decent amount of back bend as well. So that's really nice. You're definitely gonna be able to get some really strong poses out of this guy in lots of different positions. Onto the actual fabric itself, it feels really nice. It is just a woven fabric. So again, like I said earlier, maybe be careful, wash your hands before handling him or use gloves so you don't put any marks onto that and be careful if he falls over as well because that might cause some smudging. Really like the black that's painted on top. Now that is more of a, that's not a knitted fabric. That's actually more of a, like a rubbery, like plevery feel, I would say. I don't think it's plever but it is, um, it is on top of this. So be careful, you don't wanna see that crack, which might be an issue down the sides. If you're posing him quite a lot, these might start to crack over here. So just be wary of that, about leaving him poses for a long time as well. All in all, he looks fantastic. Guys, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna whack him into some poses and I'll go through my final thoughts. So as I said, here is a size comparison. Now this is next to my, um, new Mark 7 2.0 video to come soon. And you can see that the height difference is quite substantial between our Iron Man and our Wolverine, which is good to see because this version of Wolverine should be a little bit on the shorter side. So I'm quite light on Marvel characters in the collection right now. So I've got a DC character, Batman, to compare. And again, you can see that the Wolverine is a fair bit shorter than Val Kilmer Batman. However, next to my in-art Joker, they're almost the same height. So interesting there on how the differences between companies may play into the scaling or if maybe the scaling of the Wolverine just isn't quite there or maybe the Joker's undersized. I didn't think Heath Ledger was that short. But there we go, there's some size comparisons. All right, so let's take a deeper look at this figure and it is absolutely fantastic. Hono Studios have knocked it out of the park with this release. If anything, although it's entry level, it feels premium. The head sculpt is really nicely done. Despite it being a comic book character, there's a lot of life in this figure. I do like the whites of the eyes and how comic book accurate that is, and the free face plates really adds a lot of versatility to this piece. What can we say? Wolverine is jacked, and you can really see it in the detail and the silicone arms here, especially with the vein work and the hair as well. It's just so well done. The tailoring on this figure is fantastic, although I'm slightly worried about these stripes here cracking over time, but we will see how that goes. I really like the luminescent parts as well and the vibrancy in the colours on the moulded plastic parts of the suit. It's really fantastic. The retractable claws have also impressed me. Although they are made of a scarily flimsy plastic, the paintwork is really good. You can see how metallic silver they look and they look dangerous. All right, now to the posing section. And this first pose is what I'm gonna call the safe pose. It puts no strain on those silicone arms, so you don't need to worry about them breaking down over time. And it also kind of lends a nice menacing look to him. He's got that stoic faceplate on, which is a faceplate I actually do quite enjoy. Although I have to be honest, my favorite is definitely the, uh, the snarling uh, face sculpt. Now, moving on, this is a two-part pose. We have him about to engage his retractable claws. I've added on that snarling face sculpt 
and it really lends a lot of life to this character and it just does such a good job in terms of posing this is a dream to pose it's so easy those arms with the double bend the knees with the double bend the articulated toes the ab crunch on this guy just allows it to work so so nicely so now we've got part two of that pose and he's got his claws out and you can see again this is a nice animated pose but it doesn't put a lot of strain on those silicone joints all right guys so that is it. it is now time to rate this figure i'm going to give the hono studios first release a nine out of ten that is a high score and i really think it's earned it yes it's light on accessories but it makes up for that with the actual pure quality in his design and the workmanship that's been put on here you can do so much even with so little and i really am looking forward to seeing what hono studios next releases are like so guys as always thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you thought this figure was a banger let me know in the comments below if you thought it wasn't a banger put your reasons why i'd like to hear your thoughts as always guys this is jim collector and i'll see you in a future video